Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, you'll see a quick and different way of creating this type of model in FreeCAD. To create this model, we'll use two workbench. We'll use part and draft workbench to create this model. I hope you liked the video and if you can support the channel with a donation, I really appreciate it. To support the channel, simply access the first link in the description of this video. Thank you and let's get started. So now let's go to FreeCAD here, create a new document and switch to the part for bench. Okay, the first thing that we'll do here is to add a cylinder in this document. So what we do, we click in this cylinder icon here, click in this icon, and now we'll change the size of this cylinder. So select the cylinder here and we'll change the radius here to We'll change the radius here to a level of 18. We'll set 9 here. Okay, and date of this cylinder will set 15. This dimension here. Let's set 15 here and enter. And now press home and you can see this. Okay, and the next thing that we'll do now is to create this hole here. To create this hole, we'll use this tool here. We'll use this tool here, thickness tool. So what you need to do now is to rotate this model and select this bottom face here and then click in this thickness icon. Okay, here in the thickness, what we'll do, we'll change here to, as you can see here, we have a diameter of 18 and 16. So this thickness here is one millimeter. So what we'll do here is to change this dimension to minus one and as you can see now we have this hole here and then click OK okay and now it's time to create a fillet in the circular edge here so what you do we can select this face here and then we go to this tool here fillet tool and now what you will do is to select this edge here and then we'll change the radius here to 0.5 okay and now just click OK okay now we have this part here and the next thing to do is to create these plates here around this part here what you'll do now is to go to these tools here and we'll select create primitives click here click here and select ALX geometry Okay, and now we'll change these parameters here. So, for example, the pitch here, as you can see, is 100. So, we'll change here to 100. And the height of these, of these blades is 14. We'll set 14 here. And the reds here, let's set of 18. We'll set 9 here. Okay, and now scroll down. And here, in the location, we'll change the position in see duration we'll change here to 0 0.5 as you can see here we have 15 and 14 so we'll change here to 0 0.5 okay and now scroll up and click here and click again and now close this okay as you can see here we have these two like separations here so what you'll do now is to change the parameters of this LX here, this less LX. Okay, so what to do, we select the LX here and then we go to the properties here. Here we'll change this radius to 25 here. Okay, and enter and now press home. As you can see, we have these two lines here. Okay, and now what we'll do is to create a salt using these using these two uh, like separations. Okay, so what you need to do is to click in this tool here, love tool, and then we'll select LX here and click in this icon, select here and OK, and check this option, create salt, and then click OK. And now as you can see we have this surface here okay and the next thing to do is to create is to create the thickness here 0 0.8 so what you'll do is to use this tool here offset tool 
but first we need to select the loft here and then click on this icon okay and the offset here will be 0 0.8 so we'll change here to 0 0.8 and and also we need to fill this offset here so what we'll do is we check this option fill offset and then click ok and as you can see now we have this rate okay and next what we'll do is to create a polar array of these blades in this part here so to do that we need to change the workbench let's go to the draft workbench so the draft workbench here first let's hide this grid here and now select this offset and click here and select polar array okay the number of elements here will be will be seven so we'll change here to seven and these points here this center of rotation points must be zero so and now click ok and as you can see we have these oblates now and now what you do now we go back to sorry now we go back to the part or bench okay and now what we'll do is to make a union of these two objects here so select these two objects and now union two okay and refresh okay and as you can see we have this part here okay it's all for this model thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video thank you